Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's for Tea, and I hope that I find you all well and that you're all having a fantastic day so far. And a very warm welcome to you also if it's your first time here. And before you leave, why not subscribe if you want to pop back and see what else I'm up to. Right guys, so this is the fourth instalment of my festive food and drink ideas, and tonight I'm going to be showing you how I make my mulled wine. It's absolutely delicious, but not for the faint-hearted, because I actually like to add a wee bit of chilli into mine. It gives it a lovely kick. It adds a wee bit of heat. But if you don't like chilli or you don't like the heat, then completely, you know, you can just eliminate this altogether. But I'm just going to show you how I do mine. So these are the things you're going to need if you want to follow along with this wee recipe. So this is what I'm using tonight to make mines, guys. I'm starting off with one whole cinnamon stick. I'm using six whole cloves. I'm going to be using two bird's eye chilies, but you can you you know you can leave out the chilies if you don't like it hot. I'm also using two star anise. I'm using one teaspoon of mixed spice and four or five black peppercorns. I'm also using 100 grams of caster sugar, two bottles of red wine, any red wine of your choice. I'm just using, uh, you know, a bog standard Rioja, but you can use whatever red wine that you like. I'm also using two clementines. I'm using one lemon and I'm using a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You don't have to use clementines. Any small oranges will do, obviously. Yeah, so that's it. So let's move on and we'll see what we do next. So the first thing you want to do is peel the fruit um, and just get some, you know, some of your skin off. You're going to just use this in your wine. So just peel your oranges and peel your lemon. We're going to use the juice inside the fruit as well. This wine is absolutely beautiful, guys. It's so festive. You know, you get it at all the winter markets here as well, you know, and it's a lovely smell. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your pan, pop your sugar in, and then your cinnamon stick. Just snap it in two. And you can add your two star anise. And then your cloves. and then your black peppercorns and then your bird's eye chilies if you're choosing to use these just break them up but like I say guys this does give it a really hot kick and then your mixed spice you want to pop in a teaspoon of vanilla extract And then a wee piece of your lemon peel and also your orange peel. And then you just want to go ahead and squeeze as much juice from your fruit as you can. Don't worry if you eat any pips in here guys because everything's going to get, you know, it's all going to get drained anyway. And you're only going to be left with the wine. Some people put, you know, all their ingredients into a wee muslin bag called a bouquet garni. But I actually like all the bits floating around in the wine. I like to see what's going on. <laughs> and then what to do is pop in about half a bottle of your wine. You just want to cover the sugar and give it a good stir. Pop it into a low heat and give it a simmer for about five minutes. And it'll thicken up a good bit, almost into a syrup. So this is after five minutes, and as you can see, it really has thickened a lot. And the smell was absolutely incredible, guys. It really was. And after it's had its five minutes, just pop in the rest of your wine. So this is another bottle and a half. So you've actually got two bottles of wine in there now. And just give everything a good stir round. So you want to really lower the heat, guys, as low as your heat can go and give this a gentle simmer for about 15 minutes. You don't want this to boil at all. 
just a lovely gentle simmer and then give it a wee stir now and again and that's it done I mean it really is as simple as that oh it's beautiful you can't really see the colour here it's a gorgeous burgundy colour as you can imagine and those spices are just beautiful so this is just what I like to do I like to drain my spices out so that I'm just left with a you know the nice wine I know some people that do this and they just you know they leave the wee bits floating about in their glass but I prefer to do it this way so I just drain everything out and I just discard what I've got there in my sieve and if you're serving this right away guys obviously pop it into a nice bowl with a ladle and people can help themselves but because we're just going to be having this later I'm going to put it back into the saucepan with the lid on and we're going to reheat it later on so I just pop mine back into the pan and pop the lid on oh who am I kidding I had some right away <laughs> so greedy so all you want to do now is serve guys so a glass works better because obviously it holds the heat better and it'll keep it you know warmer for longer I just like to go around the rim of the glass with a wee piece of the orange peel you know it just gives you a nice wee flavour on the rim pop your wine into a glass and that's it that really is it now a wee bit of decoration And there really is nothing else to do. Other than give it a wee try. <laughs> and this really, you know, it took my breath away. It's so spicy. But that's obviously, you know, because of the chilli that I put in and also the peppercorns. I'm the only one that I know, you know, that actually puts peppercorns and chilli into my mulled wine. But like I say, guys, if you don't like the spicy kick, leave out the peppercorns and leave out the chilli and you'll just have a nice, lightly spiced wine then. So that was it. So thank you very much again for popping over and seeing what's going on. And I hope you enjoyed that wee video. Uh, I've got Meals of the Week going up within the next hour or so. So hopefully I'll see you back for that. So until then, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye now.